Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Wayne Priory's over this hill or something. I came back in and I'm not sure. There it is. That's it, right? Yeah. <laughs> help! You must help! They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. A Wayne on? Tell me what happened. I don't know. I Who's attacking? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. Looked around the corner to see suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. Where's Joffrey? Oh, I don't know. Such oh, it's you. Yeah! You will not live of course. Ah! Oof. Paradise awaits. Oh. I gotta say, I do dig the, uh, the, the bound stuff. Warp in the west, cool. What's this? Is that a f Bro. Look, I'm not immune to Katana. Katana's cool. Oh, it's so darky. It looks so out of place. Oh, I love it. I'll take this sweet fat loot as remembrance of you. I think we I All right, he wants me to find Joffrey. I assume that it's like a just a ballroom blitz in here. Assassination. Life of a uh, septum. A couple of pieces of paper, a letter to mother. Ooh. Don't worry, the Elder Council knows what it's doing. Earlier was an old man. They had plans of succession. Now with the three princes dead, it's not clear who will be the next emperor. Their precedents, I'm sure. Octo and the council have been running the, the empire for the past years anyway. Cheap wine, huh? What, they don't let the monks have the good shit here? Real Berenzia... I feel like I've... Oop, don't actually need to do that. I'm just looking. I feel like I've read the word Berenzia so many times for somebody who gives no shit about Berenzia. Possibly Baron Zaya, but... Like I said. Like, I, I know that she was, you know, an important figure in... That looks cool. I know that she was an important figure in, like, Morrowind lore, like, recent Morrowind lore. Or no, um, she's a character for the Empire. She was, I think she was, like, Talos' mole or consort. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainan House. We need to go... We'll go together. Okay, we can go together. I fear the enemy came here for the Amulet of Kings. Are we gonna have to go get this fucking thing back? They've taken it. Of course it has. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Sure. Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. But we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. Bruma, huh? A few men can hold it against an army. We should leave at once. Uh, word. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay. Let's party then. Yeah, we got a fucking party of just schlubs and, and like, old guys. Can I... 
take any of these? I feel like I should be able to, you know? Yeah, all right. This feels almost imperceptibly faster. I don't even know if this is faster. But yeah, I don't know who uh, whose horse this is. I think they're dead, though. See that the banded problems are no less bad or good here. I think Skyrim maybe has the, the most cracked out bandits. I think the toughest, most annoying bandits are on Solstheim. Um, but Skyrim has bandits that are like so overconfident, you know? There is this thing that I've talked about where like... Maybe that's a gameplay thing of like, hey, we need to challenge the player, so we're just going to code the AI to be aggressive. Even if they're level a billion and they're, you know, cloaked in the armor made of the skin of dead gods that they personally killed. And some guy with a butter knife and his mother's dinner plate on his arm and like, you know, like a leather jerkin is going to be like, yeah, he, he, man, he, man, me though, I could take him, you know. But maybe it's meant to be like a cultural thing, you know? Like, Nords are just that crazy. The other thing that I talked about is like, Dunmer and Nords are both pieces of shit to the player when you first get to whatever province. Like, people are shit to the player in Skyrim and in Morrowind. But eventually, people start to get nicer to the player in Morrowind, and they don't really in Skyrim. Like, you still get zero respect at level a million in Skyrim. And so, the reason that that likely is, is likely because it is hard to record more dialogue because Skyrim everything is voice acted and so you know if somebody changes their opinion of the player you need to go out of your way to record more dialogue for them to be nicer to the player the Gerald Mountains um but in Morrowind because things are just written down you can just write that and also in Morrowind, when you go into a conversation, time stops and you can see everything about a, a character in the world. Like, you can see their, their disposition towards you, and that isn't a stat. And so, like, because of the simplifications to speech in Skyrim, like, you can't do it like that. Crack my head. Lose my helmet. Is that my... Is that a wolf or my horse? Can I cast from here? No, I can't. I kind of like how you can just hit C and do a spell at almost any time and... Oh, really? I gotta go the horse way? I do love riding a good horse in a good video game. Never not gonna be fun. But yeah, the, the fact that you can, when talking to somebody in Morrowind, time stops and you can see their whole menu means that, like, it's way easier for you to track people's personal opinions of you. Um, and that's not something that you get in Skyrim because time doesn't stop and, you know, the menu is just a drop down that goes over the real world. But on the other hand, maybe it's supposed to be like, Nords will never give you respect no matter how many favors you've done for them and how tough you are. It's just a cultural thing. But Dunmer will eventually warm up to you, you know? But I feel like a lot of people will go out of the way to justify or excuse the things that Bethesda does in their games to cut corners by being like, it's the lore, though. Uh... And, like, I don't know if I agree with that. It's one of those things where, like, you're definitely welcome to do it, but, like... 
it's not crazy for us to expect a better game from one of the like richest companies in the world, you know? And like Zenimax isn't like super high on that list, but for God's sakes, Bioware is currently undergoing so many problems. Okay, this is okay. Back in the day, there used to be this concept called the three B's, and it was Blizzard, Bioware, and Bethesda. And they were the three B's, not just because their names all start with B, but because like they're big dick OGs who make some really good fucking RPGs and they're American. Because, like, of course you can make a JRPG if you're Japanese, and it's going to be good, it's going to be fun. But, like, KOTOR, Morrowind, and World of Warcraft were all, like, released very close to each other. Uh, 2002, maybe 2002 again, and then maybe 2003. Uh, and then Warcraft was... Uh, oh, 04. I know for a fact that Morrowind was 02. I know for a fact that uh, Warcraft was 04. Um, and then... What was the other one? <laughs> God. Uh, KOTOR. KOTOR was in there somewhere. Because they made KOTOR to coincide with... The release of one of the movies. Alright, how many people are following me? I like how slick this ice looks. Are you just grazing at the corpse? Hello? Joffrey? Martin? Oh, wait. Maybe I should go inside. Ah, oh, damn you. This is still the New Vegas engine, so you can use that thing where, like... Should be able to use that thing where it's like, Oh, hey, I went inside, and now time has moved ahead. Do I have to, like, like, escort them, escort them? Oh, hey, is that the tower? Cool. All right. If it don't work, wait a full day. Any second now. Ooh, it's snowing. Hmm. Not really seeing a uh, anybody here. Hey, we're back here. I need to physically wait for them. I even got on the correct horse. I'm glad I, I loaded my save, or uh, I'm glad I had that save at least. But yeah, I think it would be wrong of me to show you this quest again, this trek, just because I've already done it, but like... Ugh... Why you gotta do this to me, Todd? I'm back, but I'm not yet there yet. I wanted to talk about this. This quest blows. Like the fun of riding a horse through the through the the wilderness with my friends is ruined because I have to keep checking to make sure that they're behind me. Like I straight up have to keep checking because they keep getting lost and I keep having to load the save because no matter how long I wait, they won't catch up to me. They'll get stuck and I need to, like, move in a way to wiggle them free. And, like, why is this in this game? Why do people keep, like, I guess it was the time, you know? It was the time and people didn't know that you shouldn't put escort quests in your game because they're not fun and they don't work if you can't code AI, which they can't. Bethany Esda. But, like, ugh. This is agonizing. I've already spent, like, a good chunk of the time, like, I was already doing while playing this. 
And I'm only like, uh, all right, where's Wayne, Wayne and Priory? I feel like I'm like a third there, especially because I only have to go all the way around. And I've already spent as long doing this as I did like going there by myself. Like, I know that it was the style at the time, and you couldn't wear the... Ugh. Oh, well, now he teleports in. I guess it's because... I, I mentioned this in, in episode one, which is actually supposed to be episode zero. But I mentioned this in episode one. Um, this game does is so old that it doesn't recognize my graphics card. So it's playing me on, on like, slightly lower settings. Um, and despite being a hip teenager born in the new 10s and shit, like, I think I'm supposed to be a Zoomer, but the line between Millennial, Zillennial, and Zoomer is so blurred that I have no idea. Some people even use Zoomer and Gen Z to mean different things. Anyway, despite my youth, I'm not that uh, adept with technology. I'm actually pretty inept with it. I feel like I'm playing an MMO now. Like riding this kind of slow, kind of stupid horse through this, like, you know, semi vapid Tolkien esque fantasy. Seeing the tower is cool. But yeah, this feels like an MMO now. Was I just talking about? Yeah, I have no idea what generation I'm supposed to be in. And like... The fact that people keep schisming it or thinking of new slang terms that other people misinterpret as new generations altogether. Or vice versa doesn't help. Like the fact that... um Millennials who did grow up with the internet and millennials who didn't grow up with the internet... Are like totally different generations... I think we gotta go this way. I should save. Um, the point is, is that despite my youth and the fact that I exist within the internet era, I'm pretty technology inept. I'm not good at modding. I've only ever been able to mod Doom. Um, and... By mod, I mean install a mod from the internet onto Doom. I've not been able to, like, make a mod. That's, that's insane. The idea that I could do that is very far from where I am now. Maybe someday. I have a lot of interest in game development and game design, so I would like to make a mod, but, like, I'm pretty inept when it comes to coding. And that even extends... I like how you see guards um, patrolling... Uh, but that even extends to installing mods. I don't know how that works. Some of the old people in my life, like my grandpa, just assume that I like technology. It's like, no, I don't like technology. I use it because I live in this era. But, like, the only reason you think I like technology is because you grew up, like, taking a horse to school. You know? I know I could just use the road signs, but I've got a map. It's easier than getting off my horse, staring at the tiny font, and then getting back on my horse. Oh, God. See, I've got to get off and kill this thing. Because these idiots also get off. May as well loot it. Be dumb not to. Can you guys please keep up? Okay, there's Martin. Should I just pray Joffrey will be along? I have a save in case I need to go back again, but... All right. What happens if I hit you? I'm on your That's hit me once. Hey, come on done. now. There's no need to get oh. violent. Ow! Quickly.
quickly now. Wrong. I think I read about this. Do I have to like? I accept your surrender. Yeah. Weird. All right. Are you gonna get on your horse? Okay, he's getting on his horse. Right? Oh, man. I may as well. I'm not gonna, like, have that many loots and rewards from this. All right. Yay, it's time for more stupid horses. God, this is... It's not that early on as well. I guess that makes it a little better. Like, it's like the... What is this? Like the fourth or fifth quest. But, like, the quests that we've been on have, are long, you know? Which maybe makes it better, maybe makes it worse. You know? Um, ugh, this sucks. Ooh. Sorry. Yes. It's all over, law. What? Then am I supposed to be in? Stop right there. Then pay. Is this the blade? My play. Is this the right place? Cloud Ruler Temple. It is high in the mountains near Bruma. We should get moving. I won't rest the. Oh, this is easy until Martin is safe. But Cloud. Yeah, this is a different guy. Can I open these? Should I? Oh boy. It's getting bad. Stay away. Let's continue on to this. Are we going on foot from here? Because we're about to lose our horses. This is at the stop. That's too bad. Wh I was what? You'd resist also, what the fuck is up with your nose? It looks okay. like you're wearing your helmet too tight. Here's also, a cab. I was hoping you would resist. What the fuck is that? Like, is that like a local thing, or is that every single city guard? Protect and serve. Yeah, bullshit. Take care. Is that a local thing or, or like I can kind of foresee that like me children are starving. Uh, that Please sucks. Help. I can kind of foresee that like all the guards might have the same dialogue just because this uh. is an Elder Scroll. Hmm. A lot more houses than I think there were in um, Morrowind or Oblivion. Or uh, I'm playing Oblivion. Uh Morrowind or Skyrim. I feel like Skyrim was always very light on houses. I've killed Far worse than you. That's hot. Um, so can I reload this? Okay, I can. So do I even need to be in here? I don't. I need to go past it. I want to try to offload some of my goods. Yes. 
This is one thing that I do like about Skyrim. I feel like S Skyrim has less consideration. Ooh, a house for sale. Sweet. I feel like Skyrim definitely has less consideration to, like, the world as how it would exist, you know? Like, there's a lot of stuff where it's like, who, who would live here? Why is this like this? Why does it work like this, you know? Yotrib. Okay. Is Have this sell? Yes. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. You got a great deal there. Awesome. I'll sell you that. Can I? You do only buy these. Oh, you'll buy these, though. For one? No, that's... Is that worth it? It is flawed. You got a great deal. You got a great deal there. I appreciate... Sure thing. Hey, seeing you. Edla. You've got a lot Ooh, training. To learn. Marksman. I don't really need it, but thank you. Let me peep my inventory. I want to see what the cost of like a gem is. Two? 10, 15, 5, 25, 35, 15. Take care. Go ahead. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. All oh, right. Got to sell it. Yeah, all right. That's not that bad of a sale That's then. More. You've made a good. I'm missing out on about half of the gold, but that's probably what I would get anyway. An excellent bark. That's more than I. Slightly more than half, in fact. So what are you carrying, my good man? Steel mace. Steel stuff. I feel like I'm moving past steel. Ooh. What's this? That's 89. Come back. You too. What do you want? What can I interest you in? Let me try on this helm, good sir. That's thanks for your business. Is this going to let me cover up my... Mm. Compared to... Well... Take care. It is better. What do you... Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. That's a... An un... Make it quick. Can't go into battle. And he can also fix my equipment. shit up. It's good. I like that. Take care. Anybody else? Okay, that's fine. Cool. I have done it. Did I finish talking about the three Bs? Because the three Bs are Bethesda, um, Bioware, and Blizzard. And they used to be, like, the most reliable house for uh, RPGs in the 90s and 2000s. And, like, oh, hello. you could get some banger fucking games out of them, like, pretty reliably every time. And, like... Blizzard is is blowing itself up with how much their stock price is tanked and how many crimes have been like how many crimes and human rights violation have been committed by the executives and like their mismanagement of money and like their mismanagement of games. I feel like I should circle back around to mention those crimes again. The thing about those is, like, those are important, and we should talk about them, and, like, hey, Blizzard committed crimes straight up and down. But, like, also, that's not fun to talk about. It's very fun to bitch about, like, hey, they botched the fucking release of Overwatch 2, you know? Like, we, we had a couple of years of, like, wow, Overwatch 2 is never going to come out. 
and then the beta dropped and people look over they're like oh that came out like there was no groundswell there's no hype about it nobody cares they've already lost 99 percent of their viewers on twitch like no one gives a shit they pull this is this is what happened with sanctum a game that i care about um they pulled resources from the first game like they could have kept ex developing expansions and new shit to go in the first game but instead they pulled people off of that project put them on the second game and then the second game comes out and it's like well this isn't really different enough and like you this all could have just been the first game like this could have been an email um i definitely have more to bitch about but i'm gonna save and cut the episode uh i had a good time despite this stupid quest uh but i've been alfred this has been oblivion have a good day everyone i hope you get a good time bye